The object found inside this aluminum foil will help us understand a food web. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Owls, like birds, cannot chew their food. Instead, owls swallow their prey whole. But have you wondered what happens to the indigestible material like the bones? This material is compressed in the gizzard of the owl, and it looks like a little pellet. This compressed owl pellet is then expelled by the owl. Sometimes in science class, you may dissect this pellet to see what the diet of the owl consists of. You will find the bones of the animals that the owl has consumed, and this tells you how an owl receives energy. A food web is a diagram that shows the transfer of energy in an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms and the interactions between the biotic and abiotic factors. The biotic factors are the living components like the owl, and the abiotic factors are non-living items like the air and water. So let's create a food web of the owl to help understand this diagram. Here's an owl in its ecosystem. You will notice it is missing arrows, so let's start adding the arrows. First, an owl likes to eat rodents, like rats and shrews, and occasionally small birds. So let's add some arrows. The arrows point in the direction of the transfer of energy. The energy of the rodents is transferred to the owl, so the arrows are pointed in that direction. The bird's energy is transferred to the owl, so the arrows point towards the owl. The owl is considered the tertiary consumer because it is the topmost level and feeds on other carnivores. Now, let's see what the rodents eat. Rodents eat a large variety of insects, including grasshoppers, along with worms and snails. So the energy of these animals is transferred to the rodents, so the arrows point towards the rodents. Birds eat a large variety of organisms, including worms and also snails. The birds and rodents are secondary consumers because they consume primary consumers. Grasshoppers and snails are primary consumers because they eat producers like carrots, leaves of trees, and plants. They are considered primary consumers because they consume mainly plants, which are the producers. The plants are producers because they use sunlight to produce energy in a process of photosynthesis. As you move from one trophic level to the next, like from the plants to the grasshopper, only 10% of this energy is transferred. This is one reason why you always have a small numbers of birds of prey, like the owl. It takes a large area to support a single owl. So the food web is a model that shows a transfer of energy in an ecosystem. However, in addition, there are decomposers, like bacteria and fungi. They are breaking down once living organisms which recycle these materials. The plants, which as you know are producers, absorb these recycled nutrients and this way the nutrients are returned to the ecosystem. If you'd like to know more about food webs, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.